Let's now shift our attention to what is happening in the United Kingdom, where just weeks after Keir Starmer assumed office after Labour swept the election mandate, the leader has faced his first Prime Minister's questions sessions at the House of Commons. Now, Keir Starmer was seen fielding some pretty interesting questions from his predecessor, Rishi Sunak, and also the leader of the Scottish National Party. While Keir Starmer and Rishi Sunak appeared to put on a united front on the topic of Ukraine, the Prime Minister and the SNP leader were at odds over the two-child policy. Listen in to what transpired at the Westminster. Can I ask that he continues to be responsive to Ukraine's new requests so that they don't just stand still but can decisively win out against Russian aggression? Can I thank the Leader of the Opposition for not only raising the question of Ukraine but doing it in a way which can maintain the unity across this House which has been so important uh, to the Ukrainian people. And I can assure him that we are, of course, talking to Ukraine about um, how they deal with the Russian aggression that they are facing, have been facing for many, many months. And I will continue to try to do that in the way that he did, which is to reach out across the House to share such information as we can to maintain the unity that is so important. In just five days before the general election in Scotland, on the front page of the Daily Record, Gordon Brown instructed voters to vote Labour to end child poverty. Yet last night, Labour MPs from Scotland Everyone. were instructed to retain the two-child cap, which forces children into poverty. So, Prime Minister, <laughs> what changed? Mr Speaker, already uh, we've set up a task force to put that vigour in place free breakfast clubs in every primary school, abolishing no-fault eviction, decent home standard, AWAB's law and a plan to make work pay. But I would just say this. Before he lectures everyone else, he should explain why, since the SNP came to power, there are 30,000 more children in poverty in Scotland. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.